Hey guys, well in this week's video we're going to do one of the last major modifications to the BT30 Umbrella Tool Changer for the Masso G3 controller. And in today's video we're going to be modifying the disc that came with the BT30 Tool Changer. The Masso G3 controller needs to know exactly where each position is for each tool fork. And so we need to drill a series of holes so that we can uh, give that information to Masso. Now originally this fork disc came with one hole here that was for home and what we needed to do was add the other 11 uh, positions for this counter. Uh, it seemed pretty straightforward and when I got into it I mean it's not really difficult you just have to drill a series of holes the problem is you got to make sure that those holes are exactly where they need to be Otherwise, you might get some uh, two degrees off here or there, and, and you might have some issues with the tool change. So one of the issues I had was, how do, I, how do I fixture this disc? This disc is almost 11 inches in diameter. Uh, so it wasn't going to like fit in my vise. And then I would have to make some kind of soft jaws. So what I came up with was, I just took a scrap piece of 3 8 inch aluminum stock. I mounted it into the vise and then I drilled four holes here in a cross pattern so that I can align it in the Y as well as in the X and I just bolted the disc down to that and then I was able to twist this slightly to get everything uh, parallel in the X direction and vertically aligned in the Y. Uh, the, I don't have it drawn here, but the fork disc does have a series of uh, four holes here. I'm assuming they were used for fixturing, uh, but I don't know. But that's what I used them for. I was able to take those four holes and probe in the Y and probe in the X. And I was able to get the fork disc uh, within a couple thousandths of square. So that was turned out really well. And so all I had to do then after I had it bolted down and fixtured was just drill these 11 holes. So let's go into uh, the manufacturing here and we'll see exactly what we did here. So the first thing was to machine out our fixture, as you can see here. Uh, so I just drilled and thread milled uh, four M6 by one holes here to mount the disc to. And then the second operation was drilling and thread milling the 11 holes. Now again, I already had this one hole here. So all I had to do was just make the other 11 positions in the same radius. And then that way everything lined up. So we'll take a look at the cam real quick. Uh, we're using a, a 5 millimeter drill here. These are M6 by 1. So the first operation, I just came and did a center drill. Uh, this was more for just to make sure that uh, the whole positions before I started actually drilling and thread milling were in the correct orientation. So I just did a center drill and then I did an M1 in the program there to stop it so I could go and check it. And then I came back and did the uh, drilling operation, uh, which you see here. Uh, it's a peck drilling, 3000 RPMs, 5 inches a minute. Uh, I think I'm going about 60 thousandths depth of cut here uh, per peck. Uh, and this is a 5 millimeter drill. And then the next operation is our M6 by 1 thread mill. Uh, passes here. I like to do two passes just to kind of clean it up. So that is the modification for the fork disc. So let's go out to the Precision Matthews and we'll drill and thread mill some of these holes. All right, so here we have the disc. This is the fork disc for the BT30 ATC. Now in order for us to uh, convert this over for use on the Masso, it needs to identify each tool slot with a counter. So what we're gonna do is this particular ATC only came with one uh, position for home right here so the fork sits like like so 
and then there's a sensor that senses the it's actually a bolt just for home but what we're going to do is we're going to drill a series of holes at each location so that as it rotates the masso can count alright so this first thing is I'm just going to come down and center drill make sure everything looks good and then we will uh, drill the holes and tap for some M6 bolts Okay, so that first operation was just to put some center drills here, just to really mark it so that I can verify that this particular mark is indeed uh, lined up uh, center of this particular tool fork location. No sense in having a counter if it's not going to count in this right spot so these two line up directly with these mounting holes these two will line up directly with these mounting holes so I can verify that everything is lined up correctly so now that everything looks good we'll go ahead and just drill and tap these for some M6 by 1 
can see that we've all right we finished drilling and thread milling all the location holes for each of the 12 positions uh, this will be for a bolt to get screwed down in here and a sensor a proximity sensor that will uh, be located so that as this rotates Masso can pick up and count each tool position. One thing I wanted to um, talk about briefly is positioning this disc. Because this disc was already pre-machined uh, and we were doing some additional machining to it, it was it was very important to make sure that it was in the center and it was square and not twisted. Luckily on this particular part it had these four holes. I'm assuming that these four holes were used for some kind of fixture at the factory. And so what I did was I used these four holes to make sure that the part was square. So what I did was I probed this inside corner here and made sure that it was parallel in the Y axis and then probed these inside of these two holes to make sure that it was parallel in the X axis. And I was able to get it within about three thousandths was the closest I could get it. Now that sounds real simple and only took about a minute to explain that but it took about 30 minutes of fiddling to try to get it just perfect um, but I was able to get it uh, pretty close. All the holes uh, do line up really nice with each tool position so I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Alright guys, well I guess that will wrap up this video on the BT30 fork disc. In the next video we're going to be working on wiring up these sensors and getting everything kind of situated and buttoned up. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, you can click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Also, make sure you click on that notification bell. That way when I post a new video, they'll notify you. And if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.